Welcome to Draw Tip Tuesday. Let's try a bit of hand lettering today. Let's use paper, a pencil, an eraser and a fine liner. To fill some of the shapes in, I will be using a brush pen, but you can also use a brush and paint or color with your fine liner. Decide on what you want to write and create a frame for it using pencil. Don't press too hard. These are just guidelines you will erase later. Then, within this frame, lightly draw lines between which your lettering will be written. Think about the sizing and how you want the words to fill the composition. If you write part of your phrase in an arch, it will make it look more dynamic and interesting. The placing of the letters may need some fiddling around. Just erase and try again until your letters form a word that is balanced and the letters look fairly equal. This is hand lettering, so a little wonkiness is okay. Now that your letters are in place, the fun begins. Thicken up your letters. Trace them, make them look bold or elegant, fat or thin. You can try and combine different styles. Add decorative elements by partly tracing the frame and by drawing stuff in the corners and filling white spaces. Don't go overboard with this, keep it balanced. Use your fine liner to trace your final design. I'd like the word at the bottom to be a bit heavier, so I add extra lines to make the letters come forward. Later I will color these bits in. Wait until the ink has completely dried and then erase the pencil lines. Then color some of the elements. Pay attention to the overall balance. Check if it needs any more touch-ups and you're done. Now go on and try it yourself. You can make awesome art. I'd like to invite you to have a look at my website koshukuna.nl and see if you want to join one of my classes today.